Really? Okay. What? The phone is ringing. Who's trying to call at this hour? Retrotech Steve speaking. Oh, my, my night, hey, hey. Oh, why, hello, yeah. I've been wondering when I was going to hear from you. Abby. How you doing? Abby, an hour. Oh, that's good to hear. It's time to go. Well, yeah, I do. I have it ready. We're ready to go. I've got it sitting here. A beautiful machine, that thing is. Okay, it's shilling a while Oh, you're ready to get it? Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, you know, it's been up there in the shop for a while. All tuned up and ready to go. Yeah, sure. I tell you what, I'll take one last look at it, get it shined up, and get it ready to go. When do you want to come get it? Tomorrow. All right, well, let's do it. You got the address? All right, we'll see you then. Thank you. Brutus, you're not going to believe this. We got to get the JVC ready to go. Well, hello there, darling. How are you doing today? Look, I've got some big news. I finally got off the phone with your owner and they've decided to come and pick you up tomorrow. Look, don't look at me like that. I know that we've had some good times together, but your new owner is going to spend a lot more time with you and going to get to move you inside. You won't have to live out in a musty, cold old garage anymore. All right, look, just settle down. Maybe we could spend a little time together. How about I give you a little bit of a tune-up and test you out with some uh, different gaming consoles. Yeah, I thought that might cheer you up. Hey, welcome back today, everybody. We are obviously talking about the JVCD series. That's the massive 36-inch consumer-grade television that you see right behind me. Today, we're going to go through and show off some of the cool look of this CRT. My plan is to just test all the inputs and test multiple original consoles to show what they would look like on this large shadow mass tube. And it's also just a way for me to say goodbye to this massively beautiful television. Uh, I've got a new home found for it and hopefully the new owner will be able to use this uh, much more than I was able to. This TV is so large that I was never able to get it inside my house actually. So it's spent most of its life in the garage since I bought it. And before that, uh, it came from a fishing store, a bait store down in Southern Florida. I bought it, recapped it, and now it sits here ready to go to its new owner again. If you wanna see more about the recapping and restoration on this CRT, I did do that about two years ago. So I'll tag right up here a link to that video series and you can check that out. But for now, let's just check out the JVCD series. We're gonna start off with the composite video input. I got a couple of old school retro gaming consoles. Let's get them hooked up and see how they look. The first thing I wanted to test is a Nintendo 64 because it looks exceptionally well on a JVCD series. Now this is a high number on the serial number and it has not been modified at all. It is stock and uh, it is an NTSC model, so we can get S-Video and Composite Video out of the console. So I've got composite cables here, but I've also got these Insurrection Industries S-Video cables that are really nice and high quality. We'll use those. And then I've got these three games over here to test. 
out and we'll see how they look on the TV. Then secondly, I have a RGB modified SNES Junior version. And this one has been recapped, has been modified with Voltar's kit. And then we will be using component cables. And that is, of course, HD RetroVision's component cable for the SNES. Now we've upgraded our signal to component through our Super Nintendo and I'd like to show you the 240p test suite today and we'll go through some patterns so we can see exactly what you can expect from a screen of this quality that has been recapped. Here's just the title screen. We're going to go through a couple of these menus really quickly. I'm going to turn down all the backlight so you can see only the TV screen. Let's roll through some of these test patterns. Starting with my favorite test pattern, the monoscope, and we can turn down our brightness just a little bit and look at some important things here. We've actually got pretty darn good uh, geometry overall. I do notice some convergence issues maybe along the ed edges, but that's to be expected on a 36-inch tube. It's not terrible, but at the same time, it's not perfect. Let's zoom in. I'll show you what I'm referring to there. You see up in that corner we still have some color separation but that's to be pretty much expected on such a large tube and nearly every tube that is over 20 inches suffers greatly from convergence issues in the corners and along the top edge you can see we've got a blue separated line up there too We'll switch to another screen real quick here. Let's check our linearity. Pretty good linearity for such a large tube. If we look at our classic grid, it actually looks better than the monoscope did. So you can see how this screen can be a little bit more forgiving. And the last things I like to do is run the scroll pattern. I wanted to open up the back of the television and check things out internally one last time before I send it off. It's been a couple years since I've been inside here. Here's a look at this JVC tube. There's the model and tube number right there. In case you're curious, I believe there might be multiple tubes for this 
TV or other JVCD series, but I'm not completely certain on that. Now here's another thing is this proprietary yoke assembly. You'll notice we don't really have any extra magnets in here. I don't see any kind of convergence strips or anything like that in this yoke. So that's an interesting set. The other thing to notice is the yoke is like epoxied with these uh, braces here to be in an exact spot so it's darn near impossible to move it or adjust it which is kind of a good thing if you get it set right the first time to not have to move it. There's the neck of the tube with that shadow mask gun inside there and then our neck board. Now unfortunately this CRT television does not have any real adjustments on this neck board that you can make. Other CRTs will let you do things like adjust your G2 voltage and convergence and focus and we look down here into the circuit board and again this has been fully serviced new capacitors and everything the only real thing we can work with is our controls and our flyback which one should be screen at the bottom which is our g2 voltage and then above that we have focus let's look inside here our input boards and everything and our input card with all our connections. I'm set up now to run the tests and try to make an adjustment on my flyback. As you can tell I've got the component video cables plugged up and the CRT is running and then I've got our monoscope pattern over here on the front side and it's dimmed down a bit and I'll set the camera up in front of the picture. Please ignore the glare from the windows and then we will try to get rid of some of this red hue up here. I don't know if it'll be possible, but I'll turn down the flyback and then we'll adjust the brightness and see. But that's the biggest thing is there's this, if I get even closer, I'll show you what a better example of this is. It's see this red hue like bleed over right in that area right there. So the first thing I'll try is that screen potentiometer I don't know if I turn it down just a little bit, will that help any? It doesn't seem to. Let's turn down a little more and see. No, see you're still getting the red more maybe when I turn it down. So that's interesting. So let's turn it back up some. And then see that's over. That's too much. Turn it back down a little more. Too little. So Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get rid of that because it's probably part of the tube as the red lights up. The red, red gun is just burning more intense than the rest of the screen. And it kind of makes a hue or a glow from that red. And uh, so the only suggestion I would have for the next owner would be to try to get in there and turn the red drive down a little bit if you can get into the service menu. Unfortunately I don't have the remote control so I don't have that option. Now the television has been cleaned up and it's fully ready to go and it's going to be picked up tomorrow and as one final send-off I wanted to show you just some footage of this great beast of a television in action with just a couple more games. I appreciate you watching the video today. Please make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed it. And if you have any kind of feedback, I'd appreciate a comment in the section below. And I will see you guys next time with some more retro content.